guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial featuring this super easy makeup look and hair tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and please subscribe. Thank you. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 5. And this just has a nice yellowy pink undertone which cancels out any dark circles. I'm just blending that out and blending it up into my eyelid and as you can tell because I have put the foundation underneath that's not too pale now I'm just going to go in and set my face and I'm just using the Laura Mercier setting powder which finally arrived so I'm just going to set the areas where I don't really want too much shine and I'm just using what's the excess on my brush I'm just going over those areas. So I'm just going to go straight in with the Morphe 35R palette and I'm going to take this shade here and then this shade here. I'm just going to mix those two shades together. So I'm just going to pop that into my crease and just blend it into that socket and around. I'm just using those two colours as transition colours. I'm going to take this shade, this shade here, and I'm just going to focus this one in the arch on my eye and just deepen out the arch because I want it to be darker. So I'm just deepening up the crease. I'm not too bothered about the lid at the minute because I'm going to apply another product there. Anyway. So that is that colour and then I'm going to take the same dark shade and just pop that underneath my eyes, same brush and just blending out the corners. Shade Famous and it's just this glittery gold shade. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of the glitter base on the centre of my eye and just make sure I'm focusing only in the centre lower part of my eye because I'm going to darken up the edges anyway and I'm just going to take a flat angled brush I'm just popping that in the centre of my eye I just feel like this look as well, it just looks really effortless Then next I'm going to go in with some mascara. I did have mascara on today which is why my eyelashes look a bit funny. And I'm just going to take that bottom shade again. And I just want to deepen up that crease. I'm just going to go in with this shade here from the 35R palette. I'm just going to pop that on the inner corners of my eye on the lower lashes. Blends quite nicely into the inner eyelid. And then on the inner corner, I'm just going to pick up that shade again. I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner as well, just right in there, like that. Not too dramatic but it adds a nice bit of light into those corners and just bringing it up a bit. Next I'm just going to go in with my usual eyeliner which is the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama um, Eyeliner. So I'm just going to apply that to my eyelids. I'm 
Next, I'm going to pop on my Demi Wispies. So I'm just going to let my Demi Wispies dry. And then I'm going to start off with my face now. So I'm first going to go in with my brows and I'm just using the Primark 3-in-1 Brow Pencil. Just so easy to use, especially if you're doing minimal brows. So I'm just going to brush my brows up. Using that. Primark Brow Pencil in the shade Tobacco. Which is just like a deep brown. And this is just in the shade Universal Top. I really like it for the inside of my brows just to give them more of a natural look. Rather than them looking too harsh on the inside. I'm just going to do really soft strokes. Next I'm just going to go in with my MAC Cosmetics Dark Deepest Bronzer and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. I just like to apply it on top. Just to give them a flush of colour. And then I'm just going to use it to contour as well. So I'm just going to use the same brush. And I just like to pinch it into like a straight line. And then just gently brush down the sides of my nose. Bringing it straight up into where I've done the eyeshadow. Next I'm going to take my usual Kiko blush which is just this peachy shade but it's really nicely pigmented so you only need a little bit pop that on your cheeks I just like to blend the two together and then for lips I'm also going to go in with the Kiko lip pencil in 352 So once I've done that, I'm just going to go in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Leo. I'm just going to apply that to my lips. And then next I'm going to go in with the Doll Beauty Highlighter in Shine Bright, which is my usual one. And I'm just going to take a little bit on to my Morphe brush and it's the Morphe and M501 brush I'm just going to pop that on the cheekbones down the centre of my nose I really like to focus it on the top and then just a dot at the bottom Cupid's bow and then just here I usually just use what's left on the brush and just then I'm going to go in with some setting spray. Um, so I'm just going to go in with my setting spray. Try not to hit this up in the face like I have just done. And then on my lips I'm also going to go in with my Victoria's Secret Get Glossed Lip Gloss. I love this one because it's really glossy. This always looks so good. And it gives your lips that real glossed look. And then also to make this look a bit more dramatic, I'm going to add a bit more darkness to my eyes. So I'm just going to go in with this Lancome Black Eyeliner. I'm going to pop this on the lower lash line. Just in the corners. And I'm bringing it out. Enjoyed the tutorial. If you want to see how I'm going to be doing my hair, then please stay tuned. Um, and yeah. So I've just put the front part of my hair up into a bun for now, and I'm just going to start curling this part of my hair. And I've applied some heat protection. So I'm just using the Tresemme, I think the 32 inch curler.
I'm just gonna do this bit of my hair. I'm just doing it like a loose wave. And then I'm just gonna grab this bit here, which is my fringe that I had for like a week, I liked it. And then the rest of the time I was just like, why did I get that done? Look like a weirdo with a fringe. And then I just like to loosen it with my fingers. Just kind of, not too much, because I don't want to drop the curls completely. But I do want them to look a bit more natural. So I've just flipped my hair upside down and sprayed it with some of the Got To Be Glue hairspray. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please give me a like and please subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for taking your time to watch it. Bye.